Guys, my name is NLP, or the Soul Pokemon, or whatever you want to call me, and I'm about to go super hardcore fanboy mode on all of this information just been leaked. Coro Coro has. Oh! Oh my god, okay, I'm gonna try and keep myself calm for the purpose of this video, but just know in the back of my mind it's just gonna be like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> I am way too excited. I'm pretty sure that they made this a massive release because it were about, I think, 31 days until the release of Pokemon X and Y, the best games ever. So, they've really outdone it with this Korokoro Koro leak. And I'm basically here just to give you the lowdown. Oh, that sounds kind of stupid. But to basically just explain all the information that's been released and just, just, just fanboy in general. Fanboy with me in the comments. Tell me what you're most excited about. Oh my god. Anyway, so we're going to start off with um, four, yes, there are four new Pokemon that have been um, revealed in Koro Koro. Uh, I am guess um, on the left hand side, on the reddish page, we have. Um, I'm gonna try and read their names because I do do Japanese. I'm gonna try and read their names, but the Im I'm okay. In fact, I'm not gonna try and read their names because it's kind of uh, the images are kind of because um, you know they're taking a pic. Uh, I gotta calm the fanboy down. I gotta do this video. So as the images are taking the camera, so it's not the clearest thing. So I'm not gonna be able to read all the names. But this, the Pokemon on the top of the top left hand side was the Pokemon that was leaked a while back when the Kanto Mega Evolutions were um, leaked and rele well, released, actually, they weren't leaked. When the Kanto starter, the, the Mega Kanto Evolutions were released, that Pokemon was shown in a tiny clip. Um, I don't know what it is, it kind of could be a Kanto, a Kanto, an Absol pre-evolution, but um, we don't know, but it's a new Pokemon nonetheless. Um, on the bottom left-hand side, that's quite interesting, it's a Pokemon with a massive gender difference like the two form they're not really forms but you can clearly see that whatever this Pokemon is I think I can read this one Nyaonikusu I believe that says in silver Nya yeah Nyaonikusu um don't know what it is translated but that I know the mass information about that one is just that it's got proper gender differences not a tiny thing like it's got an extra flower or slightly larger there's actually proper gender differences you can tell I'm guessing the one on the left is the female version and the one on the right is the male version I might be wrong you never know but that's what I think and on the out of this page because there's multiple images um, what I'm excited about from this page is what's on the top right hand side. It's here. I'm guessing it's fossil Pokemon because they look like dinosaurs. It's a T Rex like fossil Pokemon. I've been waiting for this for ages. Like, Bastiodon has probably been my favorite fossil type, but this guy just might clinch the top spot. He looks so cool. Um, I think I can read his name Chugu Chugurasu. I think that says. Or Chigurasu, I, um, yeah, yeah, Chigurasu, I think that says. Um, clear, it, 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 it looks so cool. I cannot wait to see its evolutions. Proper T Rex. Honestly, when I first heard of fossil Pokemon back when I was like seven or something, I was like, oh, where's the T Rex? Where's the T Rex? Because that's used to, that probably was like the most famous dinosaur ever. And now it's here in Pokemon. I'm way too excited for that. And then on the bottom as well, we've got like a Bronchiosaurus. I don't know, I don't do, I don't study dinosaurs, but um, what, like, one of those long neck. One of those long-like dinosaurs as a Pokemon. Um, its name, I think I can read it as Amarasu. Yeah, Amarasu, I think I can read its name as. So, that looks um, cool as well, but obviously I'm super hyped up for the one on the top. So, anyway, that's just a bunch of new Pokemon that's been released. We're going to move along now. We're going to save the best for last. But here now is just a current list of the... Um, of the revealed Mega Evolutions, as you can see it's a bit cut off, so it's not the full list, but if you look at the third from the bottom, who and the top of course, we'll start from the top, where it has been confirmed, like it was something that was floating around earlier on when the new Mewtwo form was released, that there will be an X and Y form, and it seems that there is an X and Y form, the what I have a bigger image um, that I'll show you later, but the on the top row, that seems to be the X form of um, Mewtwo, um, it looks pretty cool, I think it seems a lot more akin to the, well, we'll discuss, we'll discuss that later when we get to the bigger image, but We've got the X form of Mewtwo, the normal form of Mewtwo, Mega, well, the Mega Mewtwo that we all knew existed prior to this leak, Mega Lucario, Mega Ampharos, Mega Absol, Mega Mawile, Mega Blaziken, and who is that I see? Who is that? It's Mega Garchomp. Oh, uh, say, say something. As if Garchomp wasn't enough of a powerhouse, it's got a Mega form. And honestly, the image of that, you can see a small clipping of its arm on the right hand side of this image. It's... He, it, it, it actually looks fearsome. No Pokemon looks scary to me, but this God Mega Garchomp actually looks fearsome. So, here's the image I was talking about. This is this is the new X form, I believe, of Mewtwo, and it looks a lot more akin to the to its um, to normal Mewtwo. 
and um, I, I kind of like it. It looks good just because it's a lot more. Um, it reminds me a lot more of normal Mewtwo. It's not such a drastic change as the Y form and the floating and tiny and all that stuff. Um, it's not such a drastic change as that. So um, I like it for that reason. And it does look like it's got a lot more power. I'm um, I'm not sure on the typings, but it does definitely look like it's got a lot more power, like especially in its arms and everything. While the Y version of Mewtwo, the smaller version, looks like it's going to be more focused on special attack and that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, there's that. Sliding along, this is what I was talking about. This is Mega Garchomp, guys. It actually looks fearsome. I don't want to say scary because Pokemon aren't like, meant to be scary, but like if I saw this, I guess I'd be scared. Mega Garchomp, ladies and gentlemen, look at it. Those spikes everywhere. Those that, that's not just normal red on its freaking on its arm claw thing. That's blood. That's blood on Mega Garchomp. Because it, it, it wrecks everything that it, it walks into its path. It will just walk along going. My, it actually looks fearsome. It looks so much stronger. It got like, double fin on its tail, it, and its chin looks so much more defined. And and the spikes all over its chest. It's just. Oh my god! I'm not gonna talk from a competitive perspective because I don't like it when people do that. Like it kind of removes what I think is what. Because it, you go like normal Pokemon, like playing it through the way it's supposed to be played before you go into competitive so I don't like, like to talk about Pokemon in competitive stance I'm not going to do that I'm just going to talk way more about Mega Garchomp which is like probably next to because um, I prefer Mega Venusaur that's probably my favourite Mega Pokemon right now I prefer Mega Venusaur and then Mega Garchomp comes, out, comes in at a close second it's it's actually fearsome oh my god oh my god and then next image is just some um, I think it's just a roundup of um, a roundup of some of the Pokemon and their abilities. I can't exactly read, um, well, I can read it, but I won't be able to translate it for you. But I did take some screenshots from Bulba News, um, Bulba Garden, Bulba News Now, their Twitter, um, where it's constantly being updated. I've got some screenshots for you, which I'm going to show in a minute. Are they next? No, they're not next. No, oh, the most important news is next. But um, about Im abilities and stuff, I'll show you that information next. Uh, after this mahoosive piece of information, which I'm pretty sure is almost as big as the new name, B2 Mega Evolution. Ladies and gentlemen, the second form of the Kanto. Kanto. Rewind. The second form of the Kalos starters have been released. Oh my god. Let me just start off by saying, Froakie looks like a complete not a badass. Just, just look at it. It's just you, you don't want to, you're not gonna fuck with the Froakie. You're just not gonna do that. It looks so cool. I'm so picking Froakie as my starter. Oh my god. We'll get to Chespin later. Cause I'm pretty sure you're all looking at Chespin is like, huh, huh. Chespin will come last. I've got a rant for you later. Um, but next along we've obviously got Fennekin, which I'm pretty sure we can confirm to you Fire and Psychic. It's not, I don't think it's going to be Fire and Fighting because like it doesn't seem like it's got that power. By the fact that it's on its um, all fours in its first, in its um, primary stage, and then it um, rise, rises, rises, rises? Yeah, it rises up onto hind legs in its second stage. That kind of could suggest like a higher mental capacity or something like that. They're um, usually associated with psychic clubs, like yeah, yeah, like a and that kind of stuff. So I'm pretty sure Fennekin will be fire and psychic, and I can't read the names of all of them. I think I can read the name of Fennekin, and its name is like what's that? Teras, Terame, Terana, or something like that. Um, I'm sorry, um, people who may be able to read it properly in there are appalled at my pronunciation, I'm still learning, so I apologize for that. But now we'll get on to Chespin, or the second evolution of Chespin, and what happened? On What happened? I, Ches, Chespin was clearly the chestnut Pokemon, and when many people saw Chespin for the first time, and it's a chestnut, they're thinking, oh my god, it's going to evolve into this massive thing with spikes, and I'm hoping that's what happens in its final evolution. If Chespin doesn't evolve into this, ma into this, like, this almost... This poke. Oh my god, I'm trying to get my thoughts in order. If Chespin doesn't evolve into a, a massive arts Pokemon with like a hard, unbreakable, almost armadillo like shell with spikes everywhere, or on its back at least, if Chespin doesn't evolve into that, it's just gonna be the laughing stock of the Kalos starters. Because when you look at Froki in the second stage, you can completely badass. I think he's gonna be more of the limber frog, because we have a kind of fat, kind of heavier frog with like, um, or toad, I should say, with like Seismitoad, with um, Timpole and the Evolution, Seismitoad. So I think we're gonna get a more limber, more agile kind of frog this time, um, Amphibian, I should say, um, in Kalos, which really excites me, because it, it looks so cool. Um, just honestly, if Chespin doesn't evolve into some, basically, basically, if Chespin 
if this form doesn't evolve into something, if Chespin's final evolution isn't something with massive spikes like everywhere, and then I'm and I'm, I'm just gonna be sad. Basically, I am just going to be sad, and I'm pretty sure many other people will be equally, if not more, disappointed. But anyway, that's the massive news, and now we're just gonna get onto some of the more like technical stuff. Which are, these are just screenshots from Twitter. I'm gonna rotate it just so that you can see it um, properly. And it's just showing that yeah, Chigorasu was the T-Rex type Pokemon and has strong chin as an ability, I'll get onto that later. Um, and then it's just other bunch of logistical information, well not logistical but technical information you can read that like Flabebe, the tiny flower Pokemon fairy that like pretty much confirmed that fairy is going to be the laughing stock um, for most people, I don't think it will be but for most people that really confirmed that fairy is just that. But this just confirms it can hold different coloured flowers, maybe we'll buy it kind of be like the Arceus multi-type thing and the plates where like Flabebe, Flabebe holds different flowers against different um, excuse me against different abilities or moves or something like that maybe like cast form don't know um, Toriman I think Toriman is the one that um, I believe that's the one that looks like it's a Absol pre-evolution and that, and that looks interesting here a contingent its appearance and mechanical trimming that keeps that looks quite interesting um, just moving along, Mega Mewtwo X, which is the one that looks more like the original Mewtwo, has steadfast and elevated attack, so yeah, that's what I was talking about, it does look like it's got that kind of more physical um, appearance, because for a start it's not floating, but so it looks like it's got that more physical appearance and steadfast, I think that's the ability, um, correct me if I'm wrong in down in the comments, but I think that's the ability where, um, if it's, um, now I might get in steadfast confused with Inner Focus. No, Inner Focus you can't be flinched. Steadfast I think is when you are flinched, you get a speed boost. I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm not sure on that. Um, Mega Gontrump, now Sand Force, Sand Force is its ability, you know, Zephyr, Gre Dragon and Ground, Gartrump in Gen 4 wasn't overpowered enough, you know, give it sound, Sand Force, I don't know what I'm trying to say, Sound. Sand Force would be a cool ability though. But give it Sand Force and you know it's just extremely strong and extremely amazing. Yeah, Mega Mewtwo X, Psychic and Fighting. I, I don't... I don't know if that, oh, Psychic Fighting, so like Medicham, we have had a Psychic Fighting before, third gen. Um, can't remember off the top of my head any others, but yeah, Medicham, so that's going to be quite an interesting combination. We have a new ability here, um, Fur Coat, which as you can see here, as reading on the Twitter. The damage taken from any attack in which your opponent comes into physical contact is decreased by half, so if like, imagine if like, well, okay, I'm not going to say Steel types. So if a Steel type got that ability, then just say goodbye to any almost any physical moves that you could do to it. Imagine trying to tackle a Steelix, uh, trying to tackle a Steelix that had fur coats for whatever reason. And it would it would do like nothing. But that's quite an interesting ability. It can't wait to, um, be interesting to see what Pokemon actually get that ability. If any existing Pokemon get that ability, it might kind of buff them up, you know, to any weaknesses they may have. Um, as you can see at the bottom, I did do the screenshots kind of askew. But next is the what is the strong chin ability, which are the T Rex like. Um, Chigasu, I think that's his name, um, which the T-Rex like Pokemon has strong chin, I think it's quite suited ability, that the attack power of moves, they use your fangs that crunch like bite, I'm guessing like ice fang, fire fang, thunder fang, poison fang maybe, I'm not sure, but just all those kind of biting, biting, biting-esque moves will have their um, power increase, so that's kind of interesting as well. Um, and four different mega evolutions of Mewtwo, it's shown here in the second tweet, that it appears that it evolved, that there are different there are actually different mega stones for the different forms, so that's quite interesting. Um, and again, another new ability in the third tweet: free skin. That where and this is a quite interesting one. Whatever normal type attack that you use becomes an ice type attack, and the power also gets increased. So like, I don't really know how to explain it better than it is there. But um, whatever normal type attack you use becomes an ice type attack. So like, that, that's that's next level. That's that's game changing, you know. A move that a move that changes its type as it's attacking. That's game changing. That's massive. I wonder if we'll be seeing like fire, like heat skin, or like leaf skin, or we'll be seeing different variations of this move of this um, of this ability. It'd be inter it'd be cool if there was. Um, not that I'll be disappointed if it's limited to ice types because ice is one of those types that's just like uh, like it was only really useful for defending against dragon types and taking them out. But now we have fairy ice types just like really sinking into the back. So I think this ability will give Ice Types the attention I think they deserve because I like Ice Types a lot. And then we've got some type resistances here, so just some more type of technical information. Um, apparently Fairy, um, um, as you can see in big um, capital letters, unconfirmed, so don't take the word for it. But uh, apparently Fairy is now weak to, is weak to poison and steel, it resists bug, 
fighting and dark and is immune to dragon. We knew it was immune to dragon, so hopefully that bit is confirmed because we need it to be because dragons need to be just just nerfed. Um, and fairy is very super effective against fighting dark and dragon. That is good and not very effective against steel, poison, and fire, which is also quite good. Um, okay, here in the top tweet we have the names of the second evolutions of the Pokemon. Chessman evolved into Haribugu, Fennekin into Tiruna, and Froki into Gerogashira. I oh, can't translate those for you, but those are Japanese names. I'm pretty sure soon we'll get the English um, English names. If soon enough I upload this video, the English names has been released. I'll attach them in an annotation or put them in the description below, just so you can look at those. And the important bit there is that they all keep their single types, which is quite um, which is quite interesting. We don't know for all... I don't think there's ever been a generation where every single... Or maybe... No, there has, no, there has. I'm thinking second. I was going to say that I don't think there's been a generation where every single starter in its final evolution is a single type, but second generation, um, Cinecruiser Typhlosion kept its single fire. Um, uh, Chikorita to Meganium kept its single, single grass, and obviously, uh, Totodile to Feraligatr kept it as single water type. So, yeah, okay, so we might see that again, because we've had obviously a lot of dual types, like fifth gen, you ha um, fifth gen, you had. Um, fire and fighting again, and um, fourth gen. There's there. Fourth gen was where dual type starter types really kicked in because you had Torterra as grass and grass and ground, um, and Polian was in steel and Infernape fire and fighting. So I don't know if we we'll see all single types or maybe a mix. That would be interesting. I like dual types. It gives um, makes for slightly more interesting in my opinion. But I'd still like to hear yours down below. And that is the last image I have on this video on the massive Coral Crow leak and all of the information. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, if you did, don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, as well as let's get some conversation going down in the comments, you know, what do you think of the new um, Pokemon release, what do you think of the new second stage of the evolutions that has been released, um, just get some stuff going in the comments, I'll be happy to chat to you guys, um, I thought you can follow me on Twitter, where like I'm really active on Twitter, so if you want to contact me through there, be sure to. And I've been seeing Ask FM being used a lot, used a lot. So if you guys want me to set up an Ask FM, maybe where you can be posting questions for me to answer, then I'll gladly do that for you. But again, like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And I will see you guys 